Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Look on the screen. Accomplished, educated, she wanted to help people. Let's take a listen to what happened to you. Probably heard about it. She was the one where a man in a wheelchair was seen dragging her body in a bag. And she was reportedly shot in the head. Listen the scene in Kips Bay, the body of a woman found stuffed in a bag. And tonight we're hearing from the victim's heartbroken mother. Fox 5's Arthur Chan spoke to her and is live in Kips Bay. And Arthur, we're also hearing there's a person of interest in the murder. Yeah, when he was taken into custody, it got really ugly, which you're about to see. We're on East 27th Street. The location where the woman's body was found has been turned into a memorial tonight, but all the attention this evening was focused down the block, mainly around an individual who police tonight are not naming and have not charged yet, but because of surveillance video on the block that shows somebody in a wheelchair being involved in disposing of the victim's body, her family and many people on this block seem more than convinced. <laughs> And what you're hearing right now, they're giving him some street justice. He's being carried to the ambulance, and uh, they're kind of touching him with their hands and fist. The crowd is getting him. Wow. When police took a man into custody around the corner from where the body of 31-year-old Yasmin Williams was found stuffed into garbage bags down the block police sought out a man sources tell fox 5 is a person of interest in the murder in a wheelchair when he was brought down to the lobby he was being transferred into a gurney while still in the lobby as a crowd outside started screaming and banging on the windows oh my gosh. Once the door opened, family members and friends of Yasmin Williams unleashed their fury as police officers Ooh. and EMTs desperately tried to fend them off. Several people punched the man in the head, angrily jumping over him and leaping over anyone in the way to get out of there. Some could be heard begging the crowd to kill the man, while others were tearing his shirt from behind. Mm. The man pleaded his innocence at the angry crowd as the EMTs and police tried to load him into the ambulance, all the while trying to push back at people surging to attack the man. As soon as the ambulance bolted, Yasmin's mother held her hand over one. He looks like he's disgusting. He looks like scum. Yasmin's body was found Friday, stuffed into garbage bags and left out on the street on East 27th Street, just off 3rd Avenue. On Monday, the medical examiner's office determined the cause of death to be a gunshot wound to her head. Mm. Sources tell Fox 5 police have a surveillance video showing a man in an electric wheelchair dragging the garbage bags to that location, which led Yasmin's family to wait outside the building down the street. She meant everything to me. It was my baby. She was an angel. She was a light. And, she's, and that light is going to always shine. She's going to live in me forever. <sighs> And that was the mother speaking. Again, police tonight are not identifying the man in that video, nor has he been charged yet, but the victim's family is convinced she knew her killer. I would imagine investigators are now looking into whether or not there are communications between the two in the days that led to her death, as well as whether there's anything from the past that might raise red flags. Unbelievable unbelievable now she, they said she um she did get her degree and they had pictures of her in her in her cap and gown and that she wanted to help people you can't there are a lot of disturbing people out there you just can't he also there are several reports on this he also has a background oh yes he has a background he, he's got a rap sheet and burglary, from what I saw, was one of the charges. He has a rap sheet, uh, a certified dust bucket, a certified criminal, in my, in my opinion. They had him on the surveillance, dragging the bat, and it just shows you. I thought about it. It was like, what in the world and why? He's in a wheelchair. See, people doing what they want to do. He's literally seen in a wheelchair dragging her body in a trash bag. They said she was working with trying to help people get their lives together. 
Dusties bring drama, death, heartache, and trauma. The financial implications is too many of them in the nation. As usual in this community, the dust buckets, they take out our very best and brightest. Here she is, got a whole life ahead of her, college degree, want to help people out. And look what happens. That's why I'm to the point now, I don't know if you've noticed it, but in, I guess it depends on where you are in certain areas. I've seen some of them hanging out and they'll be sitting up here. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, miss, miss. You can hardly go to a mall, not just the major mall, but even just a little outlet mall. They'll find themselves somewhere sitting up here playing, playing beggar, always asking for some money. I'm to the point now, if I ever see that, even if it's to go to a fast food, that may be in a mall or get something, run an errand, I pay the opportunity that they're not there. So he's in a wheelchair on camera, dragging a body and it's her. So once again, the community has a loss of a person who has something to contribute. She's, she's gone. The contributor is gone. Someone who can be a plus to the community and help mankind. mankind that person, she's gone. But look at who's still here. Look who we're stuck with. And it is reported that he has a criminal history. Are we surprised? And you wonder why nobody wants to come to help. Just being in proximity to where, where they are is a danger to you, especially if you look like them. I'm sorry to say, I said it before, said it, said it again, despite the Karens that we have and a midst of a male Karen, sometimes the most dangerous person for a black woman to be is guess what? Is in her own community. And look at him. They said, this is from an old mug shot. So she was shot in the head and put the back and he's dragging her down the street and placed her on the side by where the trash is. And I'm sure it's a mammy somewhere and I think he need counseling. I wish they would let that crowd just have at him. This, you, you can't help this community. These men are a danger. And when they see others, and here's the thing I don't think some people should understand. I don't care what group you are in. When you have people that are way at the bottom, at the very, very bottom, bottom, when you have people like that, you can go ahead and try to, oh, I'm going to pull. It's like trying to help a drowning man. That person panicking and they get the fighting and swinging and oh my gosh, yeah, they get the fighting and swinging and guess what's going to happen to you? After they finish fighting and swinging, more than likely, they might punch you and knock you out and you might drown and die. It reminds me of a black woman. It was a homeless man. She was out at a restaurant with some friends in a nice upscale area. And a dust bucket came out of nowhere. Um, and I believe she was she in sports. He came out of nowhere and just attacked her savagely. She, she didn't even know him. It was in an upscale area, so you know it wasn't the hood. A dust bucket came out of nowhere savagely and just attacked that woman. Attacked the black woman. That anger is there. So trying to help these people, and I'm related to my community, and I don't want to offend anybody, to, you, you got to throw it out the window. Pretend they're not there. This right here reminds me of why I sense the black woman in the comment section. Oh, when I see them coming, I cross the street. I don't make any eye contact. Shot her in the head. And then... Place to where the trash is. What he thinks of her. When in reality, he's the trash. We know who the trash who the trash is. He's the trash. Of how casually Yasmeen Williams' body was tossed to the curb. Police tell us that 55-year-old Chad Irish could be facing more charges tonight. Exclusive video shows a man in a motorized wheelchair casually dragging what appears to be the same trash bag that 31-year-old Yasmeen Williams' lifeless body was found inside of 
wrapped in a sleeping bag. Friday, police responded to a call of a suspicious package on 27th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenues. The medical examiner ruled it a homicide, saying Williams was shot in the head, the spot where she was discovered, now a growing memorial. Yasmin was really a caring person. She was energetic. She knew people around the neighborhood, so she was very loving. So it's pretty sad. Tuesday, members of the NYPD crime scene unit went to collect evidence from the apartment of 55-year-old Chad Irish, who now faces one count of concealment of a human corpse. Sources say the charge stems from him being seen on surveillance video dragging the body, and they are also trying to determine if the murder happened in his apartment. Police sources say Irish, who is on parole, is a prime suspect in the murder. Definitely should deserve to be in jail and locked up. Doesn't deserve to come home or none of that. Exactly. Feel like it was him? For sure, for sure. Definitely. How come? He was always with her, so it definitely got to be him. Do you know if they were dating or if she was living there or anything like that? Or? Um, not, not necessarily, but I know she he would, he would bring her home. Like, he would go to, she would go to his house. Yeah, I know he could be abusive, though. His outrage was shared Monday night. A crowd erupted, attacking Irish as police pulled him out of the building on a... Oh, we the crowd, I hope they have their way with him. This man should get life. This right here, I don't believe there's any dating. I, I don't. Uh, from what I understand with the parents and the different uh, videos on this, is that she was about helping people, and maybe that's what she was trying to do, but dating, I just don't see it. I, I just don't see it. It's like beauty and here's the beast. And you wonder why I say no one's coming as a collective to help the community. You wonder why? This is why. Shot in the head, in a body bag, in a, a body bag. And then they got him dragging down the street. Had to say allegedly, dragging down the street and putting the body where the trash is. That's what he thinks of her. Dusty's beware. Dusty's bring drama, heartache, and trauma. The little jingle used to say, beware the angry black man, black man, black man, beware the angry black man, please have your gun in hand. And I've done it for the angry white man, it could be any man. But in this case here, beware of Will, what I'm going to call this fool on the screen is Wheelchair Willie. The days of being nice and kindness are over. Safety first. I don't believe they were dating. That was just, I just, I, that I just can't see. I really can't see. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Once again, a dusty strikes in the neighborhood. What do they do? The 50 billion liability boys are known for what? They always take out the good. Again, that's why nobody's coming. Someone asked you really quick. They were saying something about, um, and I mentioned this before about, about Chicago. And I was like, man, are you kidding me? That sounds crazy. Like, oh, you know, I remember back in the day, it was in reference to the Chicago school. It was a long time ago. And they'd ask Oprah for some money. And they said they received a response. And she said, it's too far gone, which I can see. And um, maybe a few months ago, someone had mentioned, you know, oh, what Oprah can do. And I was like, do you really think it would be wise for Oprah Winfrey to expose herself and get, she's a billionaire. Do you think it would be wise for her to sit up there and, and, and do what? I said, she couldn't even be around those people. I guarantee you, I hate to say it, they would probably try to shoot at her. And I don't mean the clan, I mean black people. I said, are you kidding me? In my opinion, they will probably try to shoot at her and angry. You want, won't you do that? Won't you do this? I said, that, that's nonsensical with this group. I think her life would be in jeopardy. That's why people have foundations. Let the foundation do it. You think she would... It would, I, it would be a shooting for sure. And they would pride themselves. I hate to say it. They would pride themselves on taking out somebody of her caliber. Whether you agree with everything, like her or not, they would pride themselves on that. Why? They kill each other every day. You want somebody to say, you, you, you got to be kidding me. 
when you're in proximity to damaged people, you really have your you, you really are you uh, you really have your life in jeopardy. So even now, wheelchair Willie, you see a person like that, I'm saying, oh, well, they can't do anything. You know, I know how to dust buckets. Whether it's a black man or a black woman, they always take out our best and brightest. Anyone trying to do anything with their life, you are in danger. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share them out.